I cannot breathe. Is the ground. It is difficult to watch and tragically familiar. Minneapolis police say the man on the ground, George Floyd, matched the description of a suspect in a forgery case. They say he resisted arrest Monday night. After at least eight minutes with the officer's knee on his neck, paramedics arrive. He died later in hospital. What we saw was a black man who was lynched. They didn't use rope. He used his knee. Today, the four officers involved were fired. Being black in America should not be a death sentence. But too often, many live with that fear. Floyd's death mirrors that of Eric Garner, who uttered those same words, I can't breathe. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Please that painful history life. hung over another interaction that's gained national attention. This woman, Amy Cooper, called 911 after an African-American man asked her to leash her dog. I'm being threatened by a man in the Rambo. Please send the cops immediately. He says he recorded the incident to show he wasn't intimidated. We live in an age of Ahmed Arbery where, you know, black men are shot, gunned down because of the presumptions that people make. Amy Cooper, no relation, was fired from her job, had to give up her dog, and apologized. The police, I think of them as a protection agency. And unfortunately, this has caused me to realize that there are so many people in this country that don't have that luxury. But some experts say she should have known the potentially deadly implications of her threat. She obviously knows that black men have a contentious relationship with the police. In Central Park, police arrived after both parties left. No arrests or charges. Tonight, the anger over George Floyd's death boiled over. A large crowd grew at the spot of the arrest with reports of gunfire. Police broke it up with tear gas and pepper spray. The protesters were chanting a familiar refrain, I can't breathe. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, Toronto.